Hi, my name is Kat and I'm part of the product marketing team at and today we're going to discuss video marketing and what it means. Now, a lot of um, companies want to know, uh, they want a video marketing to sure, you know, how to go about it or what it is that they need. And a few years ago, the co-founders of HeyGen, they decided the problem they wanted to solve. And they got together and said, how can we make this better? That is where we are now. And today we have Josh Shu who is the CEO and the co-founder of HeyGen, and he is going to discuss video um, and why it's important to entrepreneurs, important to small businesses, large businesses, and how you can create AI video at scale. So um, let's get started. Hi, Josh. Hi, Kat. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Are you ready to do this? Sure. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So. My first question is explain to us why video marketing is a necessary strategy for marketing teams. Sure, sure. Yeah. So a um, couple of uh, uh, perspective, right? So first of all, um, uh, everybody was talking about videos eating the world and videos definitely, you know, one of the uh, formats that we, ha we have seen with higher engagement and with the better storytelling about um, your brand story or the product that you want to promote. So there's a reason, uh, th th there's a one report from HubSpot saying that uh, if we can include a video on the landing page, that can actually increase the conversion rate up to like about 80%. You know, that's definitely, we can see a lot of the data point there, like proving, you know, a video can actually help you or your business convert better. So in general, um, and we, we have been uh, seeing a lot of like um, uh, traffic increase as well, uh, the benefic beneficial around the acquisition. Um, like for example, uh, typically we do a lot of the uh, blog post to optimize for SEO to get some traffic. And video is actually a good, really, really good channel because the competition there is much lower. Uh, not that many people are doing it, but it is racing. You know, if we um, look at uh, the overall uh, YouTube channel space, right? So um, you can do the similar thing for SEO keywords as well. And YouTube just one channel. We have others like Instagram, TikTok, and a lot of other uh, video media uh, platform. And what's the nice thing about video marketing? Usually when you produce one format, you can actually repurpose it into multiple of them and ship it to different channels. So um yeah so um but i do feel like you know today um the biggest pain point for us to do doing vid more video content is actually the production you know uh the production uh has been proven you know it, it, it has, has been really high cost uh from the budget perspective but also from the from the time perspective i guess we can talk about uh today yeah okay very cool. So let me ask you, how can uh, revolutionize um, revolutionize the video creation process for marketing teams? Um, you, you mean you mean put it my you mean a hager, right? Yes, yes, of course. Is there any yeah, other? I see. <laughs> yeah. So there, there there are definitely a lot of like different AI tools today, or mm -hmm. a lot of the uh, software uh, company help us to just in general made the uh, process better. Um, yeah, I can talk about uh, how we how we think about it at HeyGen. So like if you look at uh, the first homepage about HeyGen, uh, there's a slogan there, it's called no camera, no crew, no problem. So pretty much the way or the, 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 the perspective we are tackling this problem is that, like first of all, we identify the highest cost uh, component during the whole process, right? So the first component would be actually the camera. So usually when we uh, produce a content, we have to go to either a studio or actually have a professional uh, camera setup, or and then we need to have an editor. The editor could be someone we hire uh, externally, or it could be someone in the company. For example, in our company, it could be me, like the CEO and co-founder of the company. Yeah. Um, it is really hard to coordinate all those together into the same time and spend as little as budget, spend as little as time to do that. So 
kind of like we are taking that point to uh, get started with HM. Um, that's why we introduced like the uh, AI avatar can kind of like replace camera and replace the actor so that we can start producing content that way. So I would say that's one um, um, one approach that we are taking. And then, you know, once we actually be able to replace the camera and replace the actor, uh, so the actor could, could still be yourself, right? So it could be the your avatar. Um, then we would be able to actually start creating content at scale. So just think about that. Maybe we used to spend, I don't know, two to three hours a day uh, producing maybe two videos. But if you could have all this AI avatar uh, with someone in your company, for, yeah, mm -hmm. so you can actually uh, produce a lot of content at scale, right? Um, so we also support API calls so that you can create, even for the same topic, you can create 10 different variants. So that's how we can be helpful in this process. Um, yeah, generally, um, we could, we also want to be the one that provide more space to, to think about the marketing strategy, mm -hmm. um, um, like, uh, uh, our users and us together to explore, you know, what's the best strategy to increase the, um, generally the video engagement. Yeah. We have a lot of little features on that, uh, around the, um, uh, avatar. We call the A role in the video, like for example, adding captions. Uh, and for example, uh, doing some eye contact, making sure the uh, artist actually facing in front of camera, camera, introducing more, you know, uh, variety of the voice so that uh, made the content in general more engaging. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff happening there. Well, that's exciting. So let's talk about um, something that came up recently with the 4.0 release last week. Hey, Jen. Um, there's the GPT script writer, and that can do a lot for marketing teams. Can we go into that a little bit? And sure, you, sure, sure. Uh, give me one sec. Uh, so, yeah, we, we talked about the 4.0, 4 uh, I think last week with Wayne, right? So yeah. about uh, a lot of the stuff. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, pretty much, I think the whole idea of uh, 4.0 is that uh, we want to enable team collaboration uh, because we identify uh, we were be, we are the um, single member version of Hegen like probably one month ago, um, so people can only create the content by himself. If you have a teammate you want to uh, work together with, you have to share the account with them. Uh, yeah, four point oh kind of like enable that uh, in mm -hmm. the sense of like being able to collaborate. Uh, this one, and meanwhile, um, I think being able to define the uh, content marketing or content production workflow is kind of like also the first step that the Popano kind of like uh, put in effort on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so GPT script writer, so explain to us how that works exactly like for marketing teams, you know, how could they leverage that particular tool, content fast, um, efficiently, and be their most productive? Yeah, so that's a great question. Um, I can definitely like walk through some of the uh, details on the product, but I, I do want to call out one thing. You know, it actually mat really matters like for the ChatGPT uh, technology get um, um, rolled out in the past like I don't know uh, six six to eight months, because when we think about a video, right, creating a video, um, we if we just think about we are in that moment, um, having a the camera there, sure having the editor there, sure, these two are, are soft, but still you actually need to come up with a script, right? So um, we need to figure out, okay, what do I want to talk about? Um, how can I actually relay the script and to story or the service that I'm, I, I want to promote, right? So ChatGPT really help us to like move one step ahead over there, uh, being able to help us to um, uh, just like, uh, do this job better. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm generally thinking about the problem. I always think, try to think, oh, I'm, what if I'm a super lazy person? Uh, I don't want to show up a camera. And I also don't want to write a script myself. You know, there's a lot of work, right? So I think ChatGPT writer kind of like, uh, we integrate there and we want to put it to work in the video uh, script um, uh, session so that mm -hmm. in the beginning of the creation, 
you kind of like have a helper for you that you know just an assistant for you that right. helps you do all those scripts so pretty much the entire um so the entire um uh, in interface or the experience will be very similar to chat uh, to chat chat gpt basically you can type in and then um just like we have some uh, little um template over there make it more engaging um uh, make it shorter make it longer but in general you can use it same as the chat gpt so that you don't have to open up two software together to make it happen so they can do it all at one one place that's awesome um is makes life so much easier when you're with a team. So mm -hmm. um, my next question is, let's talk about Avatar Light. Now, you and I both know that a lot of the marketing and pretty much most of the YouTube channel Avatar Light to actually, we're the best use case for our own product because it's how we market ourselves. So can you show us um, how the, the behind the scenes look at how we've done and um how we use you as our ambassador in your avatar sure sure so um like first of all i'm not sure everybody uh, at the audience have looked at um our youtube playlist uh before maybe let, let me quickly sh uh, showcase that real quick great awesome let me try to share the screen i know people are always amazed when they see our videos and I tell them that it's an avatar that mm -hmm. way and I'm like, yeah, yeah, it is. It's like, you know, true to life. So it's great. All right. Yeah. Cool. Can you see my screen now? Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, this is the page that on HeyGen. So maybe we can also go over here. Uh, look at that. So if you look, if you go over our uh, YouTube uh, channel on HeyGen, there's a couple of playlists that actually just my, uh, just like made with my avatar entirely. Right. So for example, this one, um, we, so, so the story was being that, you know, we introduced avatar light, I think probably, um, five months ago. Mm -hmm. And then because it, it is a, such a new concept to the market, right. Um, and nobody has that before. Um, we are kind of like, okay, we decided to do a one, uh, some marketing um, and, and content, you know, uh, tutorial for that, uh, uh, for the audience. So, and we decided just to do it with video. Um, so um, when we, when that happens, so basically we kind of like thinking about, okay, maybe we can just use my avatar to showcase that. Uh, this product, right? So I want to I want to play this one real quick. Uh, maybe just click on any of. Welcome to the HeyGen channel. In this specific playlist, there will be HeyGen tutorials made by HeyGen Avatar Lite. Today we will focus on HeyGen Avatar Lite. If you're looking to expand your. So yeah, so the, for the entire uh, Avatar video that you will look watch in the previous fifteen seconds, they are all made with AI basically made with my avatar and my voice cologne. So uh, that's how we do it. Kind of like the whole uh, workflow is that, first of all, I build my avatar and then we use a chat GPT to help us to um, write a script for about, I don't know, maybe 10 of the different episodes. And then we just like generate the A row uh, for each one of them. And once we have the A row for each video, um, and then we just like have a, uh, another person to add some, you know, uh, B roll and editing over there. We can mm -hmm. actually produce one video. Uh, I'm not exaggerating, but it's pretty much like 15 minutes per video, uh, like this. So Amazing. the entire thing, and then later on, we actually repurpose this video into our blog post. Um, so maybe I can show you, um, Joe, maybe Joe can help us to share the link, uh, on the audience so that seeing how we actually, and then take that video, uh, take the script as well. And we purpose that whole thing into a blog post. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know that, you know, once you do something like this, yes, a blog post, um, I know that I've posted some of these videos, uh, back to the YouTube channel, but I've also posted them natively. You know, and and they do really really well people are are really interested you know that it's an ai avatar and it looks like a person i mean there is no difference so yeah so and then what was what was funny is that 
because I think a lot of people who have already made an avatar with us, mm -hmm. um, they know this channel, right? Because we always show that to them. Okay, this is what you can do. And I, I, always, I have a lot of like um, in, interviews or I just meetings with the customer. Everybody was asking me, oh, you, you or your avatar at Zoom, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, people are, they're always shocked when I tell them, yeah, this is not, this is just an avatar. <laughs> like, no way. So, um, yeah, that's cool. Um, now, we have discussed marketing teams using Hagen's technology to create videos. Who are the users and what industries will benefit? Can you kind of share, like, you know, will it be education? Will it be what businesses would benefit from using, from creating videos for their video marketing strategies? Hmm. So, um, let me see. So, I, I think in general, like, first of all, I would say um, definitely the um, content marketing teams. We have seen a lot of use case there, and we are as the content marketing. Basically, you and you and I can. <laughs> we're also using that for our content, right? Yeah. And that's one. And the second thing, uh, we have also seen a lot of usage around or use cases around the product marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, uh, when you have a new feature um, or something you want to deliver to the audience, right? And um, kind of like, you, but you want to have an ambassador of the company, either the marketers in the company, either or the CEO of the company, usually they don't have time to do the uh, filming. And and for me, not only I don't, I, I mean, I, I could have time, but the things that I'm also not that great, you know, performing in front of the camera. Every time I need to do like 30 minutes, uh, 30 second clip, I actually need to do it a couple, couple times, you know, do it over and over again, at least it would take me, I don't know, uh, seven times to get a good one, right? So uh, I think product marketing in general, uh, because product, product marketing is a space that you want to deliver the value of the product to your customer and you want to build that, you know, customer relationship, you want to resonate with the customers. Usually if you really have a person uh, behind it to talk about the brand, uh, talk about the feature, talk about the product, that would be a great uh, example. So, yeah, um, other than that, I think we have also seen um, a lot of use case around um, the sales outreach uh, space, people can use that for building up the personalized messaging with the video, uh, which has been only the text version, right? The email or the, I don't know, the, the code uh, uh, outreach message on LinkedIn before. But mm -hmm. now you can actually use a, a video to do that. So, and then if, if we extend it on that, right? We talk about the outreach cases, and there's also another big uh, area is for the in customer, you know, uh, support and interaction, basically, like uh, life cycle engaging, right? So right. we can also, every time we, we get a question from a customer, um, one of the things are very, very cool is that um, uh, people can actually use uh, Zapier to connect with some external legion um, uh, form. Let's say there's a Thai form, right? People when fill in the Thai form information, they can actually plug that request into uh, our API and generate a video and immediately send it back to the customer saying, hey, I got your question around blah, blah, blah. And this is Joshua. Uh, I will be t uh, uh, touch base with you very soon. Um, yeah, something like that, that really like uh, improve the customer satisfaction or the whole you know, user journey uh, along that way. So yeah. There's a lot of them. Um, I think uh, in general, because I think Heijian is like kind of like building a horizontal product, uh, we have seen a lot of use case around that. But in general, I would say uh, the external content marketing, uh, is external content for growing your business, that would be generally a good fit uh, for leveraging Heijian to, to you know, uh, boost up the productivity there, yeah. Um, so that kind of personalization, that's really exciting because that's what's missing in the customer experience is and, and that's you know people's number one complaint is that they don't have that connection or you know so that's a really exciting development and something that I feel any CS team would love um, okay so we briefly touched earlier on 4.0 but for those of uh, missed the webinar last week and missed all the new features there's all 
posts that we uh, released last week. So if you could kind of briefly touch on each one, it would be awesome and share it with the audience. Sure, I would talk about probably um, three things maybe, right? So first of all, the team collabor collaboration feature, you can now invite your teammate doing access control, uh, having SSO uh, on, on the 4.0. Mm -hmm. And the second one is the brand kit. Um, basically, um, you we can enable the consistent uh, brand tone, uh, not only the color, but also the logo um, across the different um, uh, um, members in the team. Uh, the last one is just like generally a lot of more, a lot of uh, new enhancement to the AI capacity. Like for example, the AI script we just talked about, the AI outfit, you can actually generate outfit on the Avatar Pro. And yeah, just like more about um, uh, uh, test image uh, capacity adding to the whole content um, creation um, workflow as well. Yeah. Um, so, oh, I just went dead blank. Okay, so it all of this is called Hey Gen Space, and that collaboration and um, information can. Okay, so let's go to a question. Um, it looks like we have yeah. someone who wants to know if we've considered being able to dub other audio into existing video as opposed to just he said he's creating a web series doc video and being able to do this would save him time hmm hmm got it um okay let me think about it so um so for talking photo, you can actually upload a, a external audio into make that image dub, right? And I guess the question is around, okay, what if I have one video is already talking about something else? Um, you know, technically speaking, we have that technology. Uh, we need to think about whether how we can embed that into the existing workflow. Uh, that's doable technically for sure. And we have a great technology there. I'm just thinking about maybe down the line we can do it differently maybe with uh, um let's say we have a very low cost version of avatar right so every every video you want to upload become an avatar and then you can dub it differently with different voice and different um uh, content yeah if that makes sense um if you can ha you can have us uh, email us about um your email and then we can probably get back to you about the decision there yeah so um Actually invites is who asked the question. If you could send us an email, you can shoot it to me. It's cat at hagen dot com, and I'm very happy to then uh, go ahead and forward it to someone that can help you. So thanks for that nice. It's a good one. It's a little bit of a challenge too. Um, okay, so here's someone who's saying video is where it's at for sure. Market wise, he gets sixty views on Instagram versus six hundred views on TikTok. That divide is crazy. Um, yeah, you know what? That divide is crazy, and that also has to do with algorithms and who gets to see your video. And, and so there's a lot of like um, external things working there, but video is more engaging for sure. You know, when you're on social media, you know, if I see a post with static writing, it's not going to be nearly as interesting to me as a cool video. Talking photo vid videos are very, very cool. And, um, yeah, okay. I, I want to add one thing to that one, actually. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, TikTok is more views than Instagram, but yeah. I'm not sure if you have you tried YouTube Shorts. I think there's also a great place that to publish your video, uh, and then you would get uh, very different views over there as well. Yeah. And yeah. and and we have a YouTube Shorts channel on HN. Pretty much every video we produce with my avatar, we, uh, we produce the vertical, uh, the vertical uh, format and do it over there as well. Yeah. And the YouTube Shorts, just so you guys know, um, we publish the YouTube Shorts. Um, we usually put all of the questions that we do from this webinar uh, into YouTube Shorts. It has to be less than 60 seconds. And if you click on the description, you'll see a So if you want to see the whole video, if you missed it, um, there is a way you can see it right there. So that's very cool. And um, actually, I think that's it for questions. Cool. We, we answered everything. <laughs> <laughs> nice, so nice. Cool. Anything else you want to talk about, Kat? What? Otherwise, I think we are good today. We are good today. Thanks, you guys, for um, it. And definitely, uh, definitely make sure that you 
uh, register. I think there should be a link. You register to get your five minute credit for attending the webinar um, so that you can create videos. And please do share them with us. We have Instagram, uh, YouTube. You can email them LinkedIn. So please tag us everywhere. Um, it's either Hey Jen or Hey Jen Official everywhere. And we're happy to share them. Um, and if you have any questions, please all of us on social media. You can find all of us. Um, oh, there is one last question. Someone sure. wants to know, is there a way to have two people in the same photo talk? That's a good question. Um, yeah, it is not doable right now with the product today. So, uh, but th th there's a way to actually hack it. Um, so you kind of like, you kind of need to do it to to, at two parts, right? The, the first pass you do it, and the other has to do this for the second one. Yeah, but we are, we do not uh, natively support that in the product today. Yeah. Okay, well that's a good little hack, guys. There is a way to do it. Um, okay, so I think we're good. Um, again, please register. Make sure you send in your name, your e uh, the email address that's on your Hagen account. Um, we will see you again next week with a different topic. Thank you. Bye, yeah, Josh. thank you. Bye. Bye, Kat.